Welcome to Big Bear Trailers and Outdoor in Aundor, Northamptonshire. Today we've got a review for you on the Debon PW 2.4. Um, this is a 2,600 kilogram maximum gross weight, three-way powered tipper. It's the replacement for the PW3, which has probably been out for about three or four years now. Um, basically, it's got a stronger chassis, um, a four-step cylinder on the hydraulic ram, so you get an increase of five degrees on the tipping angle. Um, this one still has, um, from a payload perspective, it's 2.6 gross. That gives you a load carrying capacity of 1,855 kilograms. Um, it is the load bed is three meters by 1.8 meters. Option wise, you get the choice of a standard, it comes with the drop sides here, and you also have a ladder rack that fits on the front. This trailers then have the mesh side option fitted. You can also have prop stands fitted that fit down here, and it also has ramp carriers, so we can fit aluminium loading ramps to these. These trailers are particularly popular for people like landscape gardeners or the like, where this trailer will genuinely be multi-purpose so you'll put a little small mini digger on it it'll help you clear the site if you want to you can take all three sets of sides off and have it as a flat bed as well the real ace in its card is obviously the three-way tipping and i just want to show you that so basically it pumps on a hydraulic ram powered by an electric battery um, you probably get about 15 tips per fully charged battery. It does have, if I just walk this way, it does have the battery charging points now on this side. So they're just down here, got little covers on them. But yeah, pop a normal car battery charger on that and that's going to charge the battery back up again. You can do if you were towing with a fully functioning 13 pin vehicle, which very few people are, you could put a charging line into here so it is trickle charging the battery along, but that will only work if you've got a fully functioning 13 pin. Um, basically the pins at the moment for the trailer are located in this rear corner and this front corner, so it's going to tip that way. So if I just show you, um, basically what I'll do is I'll open up the sides here, to give you an idea of what happens when we tip. So I'm just going to open that up. And you'll see as we tip, the mesh size do go with it as well. So the remote controls here, it's cable tied in there at the moment. It has got a reasonably long cable, so you can stand back and remote it from there. But I'm just going to power that up. And you will see as the tipper goes the mesh side panel tilts with it i'm not going to go too much further because obviously i'm going to attach to anything so um and the ground is tilting a bit more this way but if kate goes around the back there you can see the tilt angle plus also you can see what happens with the mesh sides basically the mesh side panel do have these little tabs down here um so the the lower panel comes in and holds that into place if you wanted to take this panel off it's not a problem it slots into the top so literally just lift up and out and that's off again but if we now wanted to move maybe we tip part the load to this side we now want to do some rear tip that's not a problem so we come back to the controller just bring the bed down again and what we can do is just show you so all i have to do once the bed is down is move the pin from this front corner nearest to me to the other rear corner that doesn't have one and basically the pins act as a pivot point so that's where the ram has its pivoting access um, and it moves from there so i'm just going to bring this bed down obviously we've got no load in so it's just doing its thing with the hydraulic oil slowly going back into the tank as it comes down we're nearly there what i'll do as soon as this is down i'll bring that drop side back up again and then i'm going to move this pin from this front corner to that rear rear pin corner so i'm just going to slot this back in again the mess side is in bring that up so that side is now latched and i'm going to remove this pin in this corner which is as easy as that and then if you come down with me to this corner basically you take the pin you put it in upside down push it in turn it the right way up and then this little pin is just to make sure that that 
pin that we've just popped in can't pop out again so that's great so that's the job done now when we come back to the remote controller it's going to go to rear tip and as you see there I won't go all the way up but you get the gist you can also see down here you've got the two ramp trays so one of the aluminium ramps would sit there and the other one over the far side it does have the sort of brownie colored uh, restrainers so if you've got ramps on board here they just stop the ramps bouncing obviously you've got the battery pack motor um, hydraulic oil reservoir there as well your spare wheels tucked away down at the back there the other thing i was just going to show you in the load bed if i open this up we can just see that it has tie down points in the floor as well so you can see on each side you've got three tie down points which are nice and robust there as well so you've got a, a, um, a boarded floor with a galvanized sheet over the top of it and we have had a number of customers as i say using these either for landscape gardening or we've got one customer who uses them for moving stone every single day and these do including the aluminum side really stand up to the test of time okay yes they will get some marks on them but from we've never ever had to order a replacement um, or anything like that so that's the overview of the trailer i say we can go bigger if you need a three and a half ton capacity we can go smaller as well um, but a nice mid-range trailer to say two six gross um, and the first in the range that does the three-way tipping because if we go smaller they're just rear tipping trailers but if we can help at all um, we are big bear trailers in Oundle, northamptonshire our telephone number is 01832 770 treble eight if we can help please give us a call take care thanks for your time bye now